Live from the KATC TV3 studios, this is Acadiana's News Channel at 10. Good evening, everyone. U.S. involvement in Syria will all come down to a vote in Congress, possibly within the week. Syria dominating talks in Washington today, and there's word tonight the Senate Foreign Relations Committee has reached an agreement on a resolution to use military force against Syria. Congressional aides say the panel will vote on that measure tomorrow, which will limit the duration of any military involvement and also ban U.S. troops from ever being on the ground. And tonight, Acadiana's congressional delegation is weighing in. It is, after all, their vote. Our Stephen Albert and spoke to Congressman Charles Bustani today. He joins us live in studio. And Stephen, what's the representative saying? He says if he had to vote tonight, his vote would be no. The conflict in Syria is an issue that came up at a town hall meeting Bustani held tonight in New Iberia. I am very, very skeptical and very, very reluctant to, to agree to an authorization of force. In front of a packed town hall, Congressman Charles Bustani faced questions on everything from immigration to taxes. But the issue that kept coming up was the potential military involvement in Syria. If the U.N. can't handle this, we need to get them out of the United States. You can't solve a complex diplomatic problem in political settlement with, uh, you know, lobbing a few rockets. Bustani reiterated that his stance is against conflict at this time, but he has questions that need to be answered before a final decision can be made. The important thing is uh, if, we're gonna, if there's going to be the use of military force, it's got to be coupled with a long-term strategy and a real clear plan on how that's going to play out. As of now, Bustani believes a vote today would shoot down the idea of attacking. And as for other government officials who feel this would hurt U.S. credibility, Bustani points out the trouble of doing the wrong thing. Yeah, credibility is at stake. But also, if we take the wrong action, or we foul this up, and we get ourselves into a quagmire, our credibility is at stake. Bustani says he will be returning to Washington early to get his questions answered through a series of classified meetings before Congress begins voting. A vote could come as early as Monday. Live in the studio, Stephen Albritton, KTC TV3. Stephen, thanks. Well, Senators Mary Landrieu and David Vitter both applaud the president for seeking congressional approval in the first place. Vitter is a member of the Senate Armed Services Committee and tells us that he'll be participating in a briefing tomorrow to get a clearer picture of the administration's strategy. Here's Rob's 